Hello everybody, my name is Wachara, and this is me at Games Tycoon 2, another episode of my Let's Play. We got Quest for the Booty 7. GS started it in one of my development rooms, and of course the all the necessary support rooms are working hard on that as well. Our other development team is currently in training, down here. Um, our third development team is currently not doing anything, so let's change that. Let's do a free update. We did one for Dragon Rider already. Um, Civ City, maybe? How's um, Viking Pirate selling? Not good enough to warrant an update, I don't think. Now let's do another Industry 8 update. All right, and we are, yeah, marketing team is working on Quest of Booty 7 as well. So Candy Crash 7 is almost done. Never mind, it is done. Total sales, 9.67 million. We did not reach the 10 million. No diamond record. Wait, diamond or platinum? Whichever one's higher. We had diamond, I think. We did not receive. I think... I just looked the other day. But... Yeah, diamond. But Industry 8 is a very real chance <laughs> of reaching that mark, Right? Um, our console development team is currently twiddling their thumbs. They will be making a new handheld very soon. We just need the Tech Level 4 screen to become available. And then we will be uh, doing that. All right, let's do another update for Dragon Rider. Those are, I'm pretty happy with those sales for Dragon Rider. Actually, with the trend's about to change, so we're going to wait till the trend changes, and then we'll take a look at what our next game is probably going to be. And we'll probably do that. It's probably going to be a sports game. All right, so Warfield is off the market. Did not sell very many, but it was an exclusive for my consoles. So, hey, it made a profit. That's the important thing. Now, the question is, well, is Dragon Rider, Dragon Rider? <laughs> is Dragon Rider 4 going to make a profit? Um, no, okay. I thought, oh, role-playing game is the trend. I guess we knew that, or we, we had a feeling that that was going to be the case, right? Because, um, well, not a feeling. Our market research told us that that was going to be the trend. Uh, but what else is half popular, I wonder? All right, so marketing, not doing anything. Um, so game console, we could use a boost, the micro. Let's get the micro back up to 100 hype. This micro is still one of our major ones, right? It's selling 70,000 a week still. Or it was. Summer slump just hit, so you're going to see all these sales numbers go wrong. Yeah. <laughs> but it happens every year. It's called the summer slump for a reason, right? Because it's seasonal. All right. And what do we want to do now? The chair box has lots of hype. I mean, we could hype up our older consoles. Is it really worth it? Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. I'm going to hype it up anyway, though. Just gonna pretend that it is. All right, so our research team doesn't currently have anything to do, so we will put them back to training. They're still banging out sound training down here. Probably, how's everybody doing for sound? Still a lot of people really low, even though we're just done multiple trainings. They're a graphic designer, mostly. So that's the problem. We don't want people who look like this. We want people who look more like... Where am I at? Where's old Luchara at? We want people to look like this in your development room, right? Ideally. But I guess it is. Then it is what it is type of situation, right? All right, well, we'll market the games that are under 100 hype. I don't think you can go over 100 hype except the over hype. And 90, 72, 93, those are our lowest. We'll get those hyped up. All right, and yeah, do I wanna, now let's let's keep doing sound for now. So this is 75% done. Um, sound team's already polishing. Graphics is on their last thing. QA's on their last thing. The other QA room is on top of bugs, so that's good. Yeah, I was gonna put out a demo for something, but everything's at 100 hype, so. Let's do overhype request for the booty, I guess. For lack of anything better to do. All right, what else is popular other than role-playing games right now? 
first person shooter we could do another first person shooter strategy is popular but we already have a strategy game out we already have a survival Ooh, sports we're doing sports i mean sports is kind of our thing right i don't know nope sports engine is definitely not up to date it is quite a bit behind in fact which is not the end of the world we can update it that's what that's what we're there for that's what they're there for we're hype did it work it did not <laughs> it was a swing and a miss all right so do any of my rooms need more people at this stage of the game not really so my marketing team is going to spend some time twiddling their thumbs i could throw them into training can we fit this many in here without them being upset might as well throw them into training right Pretty quick last through a couple yeah one person's upset about overcrowding that's okay i can accept one person all right quest for the booty seven one of our programmers probably wants to be employee of the month they got it they work the night shift no don't do that go home you have a family and friends you know you need a life outside of work work-life balance is very important in luchara systems the result is a significantly increased performance of the game all right fine more night shifts then just kidding. No, work-life balance is important. <laughs> Can't have it both ways, Luch. All right. Continue development on here. I guess we could just put it out. Ooh, no. You know what we didn't do? <laughs> you know what we didn't do? We did not do a pre-release from the press. Because it was too early when I did overhype for a pre-release. Wow, they did that fast. So, yeah, here, there it is. There you go, press. I was like instant. <laughs> yeah, Industry 8 Colonies, I'm pretty sure, is going to crack 10 million. Will Quest for the Booty 7? Probably not, because it is an exclusive for one console and one console only. I'm assuming the Blue Chair Box. <laughs> so it's not going to sell well. Or it might. I mean, it might be so good. People need to buy it. I mean, it's got a 96% review score. That's like a that's a must buy, right? I think it is, but what do I know? Um, we'll make a couple hundred thousands into this, probably all we need. Since like I said, it's just for the one console that only has eleven million units sold. We'll see if those if those uh, numbers go up though, because of people buying it just to play this. Possible. All right. Um, you know what? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna leave them in there, just training on sound until like everybody, or at least half of them, are full on sound. <laughs> right? Like, cause like they're nowhere near full right now. I mean, this person's full. This person is, you know, but this person's terrible at everything else, right? Yeah. So they're gonna stay in training for a while. Meanwhile. It's time for another Luchera Hockey. Leave. 3.6 IP. That's pretty good IP value. Um, are we going to be able to get this out in 96? Or are we going to call this 97? It's been a while since I made one of these. Uh, I guess I'm trying to think. How long did it take to make this game? 14 weeks, I think. Which is, yeah, you know what? Let's just call it 97. We'll go double A for now, but it may end up being triple A. Ball engine. What do we got for tech level four consoles? Is there anything worth buying here? Absolutely not. <laughs> Unfortunately, Macintosh, personal computer, the chair box, and the Sega Uranus. Perfect. Well, two of these were pros at. Two of them were learning, but at least we have one star. We got new copy protection, which is always good. Got to keep those pirates at bay. Everything looks locked in here, except that. They really want the last one to be hard or easier. Apparently, these sports games are meant to be extremely easy. Yep, too hard. All right, fine. He's, I'll, I will grant your wish. 
and 20, 30, 10, 40. 20, 30, 10, 40. Let's go. Turn on everything, which is 38 to 40. So this will stay as a double A game. I am not going to make a triple A strictly for the sake of making a triple A. Right? Like, it's just not necessary. And of course, I wish there was a button to just do all things in all side rooms. Right? And maybe there is, and I just don't know about it. If anybody is aware of such a button, please fill me in on it. Um, because I'm not aware of it. Oh, did not mean to pick up your desk there. There, good worker, sir or madam. All right, so let's quickly do a game report for that here. Let's do an update for Dragon Rider. And away we go. I did make some quests for the booty, right? Yes, I did. Well, 11,000, that's pretty good. Oh, and we lost some hype. A high circulation gaming magazine has published a negative report about your current game. They have no idea what they're talking about. They are out to launch. Fortunately, this has caused the interest to drop a bit. That's bullcrap. Bullcrap, I tell you. I'm I'm not I'm not happy right now. <laughs> Ooh, we got third person shooters now. Yeah, they're pretty much all trained up. If the, once they hit 90, they don't benefit from training anymore, right? Which is yeah. We might as well just stop training them at this point. They get so little benefit from it. And I mean, the people that would benefit from it, they will, their, their stats will get there anyway, just through doing actual research, right? Although we will need to plop the American team back over at some point. Yeah, quest for the booty, that's, I mean, obviously, you know, those are minuscule sales compared to industry. But considering this is only for the one console, those are pretty good sales numbers. But these were both really expensive games to make. They both may lose money, but not really because they're going to sell consoles, right? Which is the important thing. My only fear is, will that negatively affect the IP values? Right? It might. When does this next screen become available? It feels like it's been forever. Like, how long ago did my last handheld come out? 205, so that's a little, slightly less than five years ago. That's 254 weeks, right? Five years would be 260 weeks. Well, I guess the Luchera box has been a while too, so that screen's going to come out. And then shortly after, at level five, for a stationary, or pro is probably going to come out, right? I would say. All right, and I think it's time to move the marketing back. There we go. And I mean, the hype we lost, it's not a big deal. Took us from 60 to 40. Two TV spots will get us back to, get us to 100, right? So not a huge deal. No more research, but again, there's no point in putting them through training, really. How's the training going here? Man, some people just don't want to learn how to, <laughs> how to be good at music and sounds. I mean, I guess it is their second best thing now, but... Notice how none of the quick learners are down at the bottom. Or do I even never mind? There's like no quick learners in here. I got one quick learner, Gration, Gration Hydrich. See, those that's a little better, that's a little more all around, right? The quick learner does matter. That is a good trait. Sorry, not talented. Why do I always want to call it quick learner? Like, I always want to call them quick learner and soul learner, even though that's not what they're called. <laughs> Same as me. Okay, so my music and sound is now capped as well. Interesting. Share box is selling really well right now. It's almost a hundred thousand per week, and it's not even Christmas season. Holiday season. So let us 
make a new first person shooter possibly there's new um it's pretty popular and it's not saturated we'll probably also do third person shooter and we got a gold record for dragon rider which is good because like i said this is only for my consoles when's that diamond record Ooh, that diamond record is coming that diamond record i can taste it i mean it doesn't taste good because it's a mineral not food but it's coming we'll look at sim city with best graphics well, A, I love when I sweep the awards, but I also love it when Game of the Year, Best Soundtrack, and Best Graphics, I love it when those are three different games. I don't know why, but I just, I don't know. I, I just think it's good. All right, Eric, Survival Devolve 2, featuring Vin Diesel, off the market. Maybe a cool 75 million, though. 3.5 sales. Nothing wrong with that. All right, so we got High Performance Fan. So this is a tech level five stationary thing. We still haven't gotten the tech level four screen for a handheld, which is weird to me that that would come before, right? Maybe it's just me who thinks that, I don't know. All right, so let's do special marketing for which are hockey, pre-release for the press. I expect, I expect this game to be at least 97%. Just because we get 3% bonus. It's probably going to be 98. To get anything other than 98, you need to have, like... You need luck, and you also need to, like, have everything perfect. Alright, we got a developer legend programmer. So let's snap them up, and let's snap them up. And let's throw them in the mocap studio. We still have lots of room if I wanted to, like, expand some of these rooms. wish you know hmm. i'm tempted to like just make this entire room this entire building just bathrooms and then take the bathrooms out of here take the bathroom and staff room out of here just so we can have bigger rooms i mean it's not that far to go to the bathroom i might do that that won't be today though all right so they're done doing that you want to market anything else while we're here like it's anything nothing really needs a demo um yeah i guess we could blast the micro and the lucera box quick tv spot for each of them probably be a good idea all right let's um okay this number should ideally should be higher Kind of sucks that it's not. That, that does kind of suck. And that, no, nope, not special marketing loops, normal marketing. There you go, kid. And that's a hey, diamond record. Diamond record. Beautiful. Um, This is literally the wrong thing. I, I hyped something that was already at 100. Oh, now it's down to the 99, but still. No, not the Wonder Player. The box. All right, so where are you, Diamond Record? I'm putting you on the wall, baby. Beautiful. Get right in there. Look at that. Look at that Diamond Record. Noise. All right. Hopefully not our last. Is there any research we could do right now? Negative on the research. Um, what could go for an update? As for the booty, could. What about Civ City? Yeah, you know what? Let's do Civ City first. I hit 100% bug removal. There's no bugs. That's very realistic. I have completely bug-free games. <laughs> That's totally realistic, right? No, it's not. What do you mean? All right. No new research again. Ooh, cabs is the trend. Should I do a racing game? Like crazy cabs? How popular is racing right now? All right. So, yeah, I'm expecting a 
I would not be surprised if this is 98% review score. And I will be surprised if it's less than 95. Called it. I mean, once you know, you know. All right, so we're going to want to make some, <laughs> some copies of this. So I think this is going to fly off the shelves. I'm not sure if it's going to be diamond record good, but I reckon by the time it's done, it'll be third place. Right? Oh, wow. Civ City is sixth. That's good, actually. That's really good because our first building game was garbage. It was like the most disappointing game. I think I've had this entire run <laughs> was that uh, that other building game that I did. So we are ready. Do we want to do a sequel? Oh, it's like for an FPS. I say no. I say we make a new one. First one didn't really didn't really move the needle, right? We did a we did a World War shooter, right? Our first one. This time we're gonna go the other way. We're gonna go aliens and space stations, I believe. There's a bunch of space stuff down here somewhere. Space, spaceships, space stations. And we will call this oh I don't know. I don't know what to call this. I legitimately don't. Let's go random name a couple times. See if we see if that causes us to be think of something. <laughs> Not so sticky balls. Well, um <laughs> Okay. <laughs> the Legend of Nelda. Misplaced Planet. Um Fog. Floyd Legends. Fantasy Moon. Let's call this Halo Moon. Sure. And we'll go teenagers. We will go Gun Engine 1. Uh, multi-platform for this? Yeah, let's go multi-platform. Uranus and Loot Chair Box. I mean, we just did... Well, I mean, we just did... And, and, no, yeah, let's go. Let's do that. I did an exclu a total exclusive and a, a manufacturer exclusive. Fairly recently, right? All right, so let's look at the letters for Warfront. Sorry, Warfield. Um, more game depth, more beginner friendly, more casual. Game depth, more beginner friendly, casual. So <laughs> you can tell that these settings are random because that I'm pretty sure that's not what <laughs> a shooter would actually want. Too innocuous, that would make sense. Too innocuous, too hard, better character design. Too innocuous, too hard. So this and this and this will go down to compensate for the other ones going up. Um, our other sliders. Oh, this is not in alphabetical order. 10, 50, 20, 20. It's a lot of graphics points. All right, and turn on everything. I think this is going to need to be AAA, <laughs> unless I want to cut, cut seven things, which I don't. So Halo Moon it is. We got the new... Level three physics. These sliders are, you know, they're still, I guarantee you they're still not right, but they're closer to being right than, than the, the last games was. All right, so this game, let's market it while our marketing team is in the room. And then as soon as they're done getting it to 100, we will switch them out, and put them back into training. And do, 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 cannot forget the mocap people. I mean, I have in the past. <laughs> I made I made copies of this, right? Already. Let's double check. Yes. <laughs> Research. No. Console still waiting. Anyway, how's the music numbers coming down here? I want everybody to be at least above thirty in music. Old Odin Sandley here is growing slowly. I mean, most people are over 30, though. Just these six problem children. 
They just don't have the ear for it. Holy crap, yeah, that sold a lot. <laughs> Luchera Hockey is lying off the shelves, folks. A lion. You would think it would be like an airplane game, the way it's flying off the shelves. And marketing campaign, TV, automatic, blah, blah, blah. And you know what? That's going to be it for this episode. I shoot for 25-minute episodes, but lately they've been way closer to 30. So we're just going to quickly start an update for Lucera Hockey. And then we're going to end it here. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Consider joining my Discord. Consider supporting me on Patreon. Shout out to my patrons. Um, links are in the description down below to both of those. Most importantly, be good to each other. Have a great day. I'll see you in the next one.